Alright guys, welcome to growing my grandpa. Basically, um, what's it called? <laughs> uh, you're basically a girl who's retelling her story to, I don't know, some person who works at a school. And, uh, you're basically, there's this, like, thing growing in your basement, man. And, and, and you're, like, feeding it, and then it, it keeps growing and growing. And I don't know, <laughs> I guess we'll see, <laughs> see what happens. But what does it say here? I excused Adrian during music class today and spoke to her about her recent string of Demertis? What? Demerits? It was our first time meeting outside our quarterly evaluations, and I believe it went well. I certainly understand Mrs. Richardson's classroom observations concerning Adrian's emotional state. She was, of course, intensely shy when we first met. Uh, as I understand it, she is similarly withdrawn in her classroom activities. Now, it speaks for acts when she absolutely must. Some things she will simply not do. Instead of participating in mandatory group activities, she will sit alone and accept that she will receive a demerit. Before meeting, I read Mrs. Richardson's parent-teacher report, which allowed me to estimate some uh, about Adrian's home life. The parents are well-educated, come from a prestigious background, but they lack time to properly nurture Adrian. She's often alone, and when she's not, her parents do not understand the importance of warmth and affirmation when dating someone so young. Having two, uh, two parents of this reserved and icy temperament exacts the inhibition in a child. A child's imagination is subdued, and but only ostensibly and... <laughs> or it eventually finds its way into regular life. I summarized that I might be able to reach out to Adrian by way of make-believe. I was just heard, what the hell, why she looks so weird, bro? Uh, uh, how are you liking your house? You told us, you told me you used to live close by, but it can still, it, it can still be a big adjustment. A new room, a new school. And maybe I should move my camera, like, down or something, hang on. Mostly because all this crap is going on, and, like, on the top of the <laughs> screen. The basement, I like that. The basement? Yeah, there's a lot of cool stuff. Mom and Dad sent me down there. Your mom and Dad made you go? Yeah, but there's a lot of cool stuff. Not, but well, that's not why they sent me down there, though. Why they send you down there? Fighting. They were fighting and shouting. I came in to help, and they shouted at me, so they said, they said, go clean up downstairs. So I went. That sounds tough. Do they fight a lot? No. Well, they, uh... It's alright, Adrian. Maybe you can tell us more about the basement instead. Okay, well, it was weird at first. Uh, the stuff down there, but cool. I found something living, sort of. It's very interesting, Adrian. Please tell me more. By indulging in her fantasies and stories, I was able to make uh, glean more of an understanding of Adrian's anxiety surrounding her home and parents. The symbols of Adrian's stories seem to carry their own traumatic weight, and the exploration in the basement may very well be a vehicle for the con conveyance of her anxiety. Whatever might come out for next meeting, or whether she will engage in some make believe, I will set her sit down her story here. Just start beginning with delving into the basement with a trash receptacle and go cleaning up. Discovered that one of the walls is covered in plastic bags. She went to investigate, intent on tearing down whatever they covered. What's this? Like, yes, yeah, see this? Like a cursed movement around, bro. <laughs> What's this? Oh, that's how you do it? Okay. Is this like the point of things, I guess? Upon removing the plastic bags from the wall, she noticed that the interior lining was covered in glass. Like a window I offered. No, she said like a mirror. Reflecting towards the animal they covered. Ask her what exactly this animal was. Here is the material reality of the story took a turn for explicitly fantastic and Im imaginary. What the hell? Uh, upon her discovery of it, uh, her, her gaze drew. Uh, her, uh, wait, her, at her gaze, it grew or extended in the shaggy hair itself. You're like the fur of a dog I offered. No, she said. Kind of looks like a sea urchin, bro. What the hell? <laughs> Uh, not the fur of a dog or in her head. It grew out towards her, and animal's hair reaching out. It was hard, standing out almost like a str st almost straight, like that hair on a brush. A bristle effort, yes, she said. She was very afraid at first, but then very curious. I asked her what else was in the room. Or if things were hidden away, she said. Things are grandpa's as well. She found a hidden passage under the stairs. In in st inside were strange dolls, magic objects, naked, faceless figures. I heard these cryptic... cryptic Utterances and immediately nodded in order to keep the game of make believe going. I pressed only for details when I thought necessary. The faces of dolls could be a simple metaphor for an amity she feels in her own home. The passage, I am unsure what to make of that. The revealing of the concealed seems to be thematic in her fantasy. The door under her the stairs is but one example. Can I touch it? What is this thing? You guys see this? It's like a sea urchin, bro. What the hell? Okay. What else do we have here? Nothing. Dark corner of the room. Uh huh. 
another trash pile. Wait, what's that? Do you guys see that? I don't know, I can't click on anything. Hmm? What is this? Oh. Has it already found the stuff? And she would have found a hidden passage and say specifically what she took. Magic book, doll, and a phone for her grandpa, and magic glue. Take doll. Dang, what the hell is this dude? Alright, we'll take it. Anything else in there? Search closet? The trash picking up game. <laughs> I think, this, yeah, this looks like it's gonna be like the main thing of the game here. Are some glue? Another note? Okay, got some glue. M A N wait R G wait what? Never said program more text. Good luck on your trip to year olds. Stay warm. And at the grandpa, Eurasian step shamanism, the fusion of Jairus, a study in sympathetic magic. What? Holy cow, dude! You guys see this like text? It's hurting my eyes, bro. Because <laughs> it's like moving around. It's so kind of bright. So it's basically talking about like what? Binding demons. Uh huh. So it's like. Fighting demons and stuff like that. Okay, interesting. But yeah, I, I, I'm not gonna read that, dude. It hurts my eyes when I look <laughs> look at it. Uh, she explained plainly that, and without missing a beat, she continued on with her story. Being as opponent symbol, I stopped. To, I stopped her again to ask what she meant. Some puzzles I didn't understand immediately. She explained slowly. Grandpa lives in a cage in the other room. The cage behind the door. The, pe the group people in the cage. The group people in the cage. What the hell are you talking about, bro? What cage? The store? What's this? A sample? Note on experiment 2 out of 4? Oh, we did put- Oh, I got the wrong one. For sake of- I, I can't read this. University of Polony in health any future career. Not break the anthropomorphic vacuum without any consultation. Anthropoid shell, please shell note. Ritual behavior? Sample of trading bargaining will result in dismissal for sample? Oh wait, so basically I can't like trade or bargain with this thing, dude. Is that what's like is, is that like the thing next to me, bro? What the hell? What is this? A hastily written note. Let's read this one. I appear to call your home Sonovia, so I'm forced to leave this here for all you all. I found William sitting in the corner of an enclosed area. Seeing me discuss. Whiskers was gone and none of his usual Hiding places. I may have suspected the worst. The project was thus must be suspended for now. I'm leaving up the usual mirror coverings we used to keep our anthropomorphic void uh, sealed. I've done my best to lock up everything in such short notice. The AC fix will require some time to find a more permanent remedy. I'm also hoping you not find this note I intend to lock the house down to, intend to risk you off to retrieve your lockbox keys. The right about William's key and the rest of his equipment is almost certainly deep within whiskers now. I pray not to this room, no matter how it may appear. William cannot be helped, and it's only kept alive as a means of continuing predation on the rest of us. Uh, oh my god, dude, this is like text. <laughs> I, I will say once again, no matter what state you may encounter in Willie Man, I, he cannot be helped. I have sympathy for the young man, I truly do, but I found on this person several throws of the late sister, which may imply certain risks he knew he was taking. Our extant research materials have now become possible liabilities, either criminal or professional in nature. So I have stashed them away. I believe I'll let you all know how I might do this if I were ever to experience an event such as this. I hope you all remember what you do. So long then. Dr. H. Any more notes? Oh, it's one right here. Whiskers, uh, uh, whiskers regenerates and leaves dormancy. Log is a new propagation. Uh, the sample's body exists cannot be ele illegible. P cut from the hole. Uh huh. Terminate after five weeks. Ready for everyone to put puts us direct termination procedures to be followed in stream care. With all that out of the way, I want to welcome you to the project. Look forward to working with you, Dr. Hart. Any more notes? Yeah, I just would like hard to see notes. Beyond the door in the room, the cage was hidden, concealed another cloak of inward facing mirrors. Huh? Cage signed with mirrors. Almost strange, almost prank. Elaborate self reflection, concealment, captivity? Tarp? It's behind here. Oh. It's like taped to the wall. And she finally casts her spell. It's confusing, she kind of fought it at first. She took, a, she took the magic doll, the magic glue, and the photo for Grandpa. 
combine them, she wished very hard. I only assume this fantasy in her wish would come true. Is that in, in what child's story would it not? There's a chair in there? Is this where that whiskers thing was at? What do I do? I got glue? Oh. Now we have grandpa here, and then a doll, and then we glue them together. And there we go, guys. She wrote grandpa in a cage, assuming that it was part of the ritual. She, it, she was not clear on how it worked. What precise instructions she could glean from her grandfather's magic book was complicated by her reading comprehension. She was all hurt, and then she told me that she waited for a while for something, anything to happen, and at that time, she began to cry. I cried really hard, she said. I want Grandpa to be back. I want my parents to stop being so mean. And it hurt me. It hurt my wish for Grandpa to come back and for my parents to be different. I could feel it through the air, to the, through the walls, and it felt me through the air. I asked her what she meant, and she only could re repeat what she said. By this time, lunch was almost over. I said goodbye to Adrian, and she left to rejoin her class. I have to consider our conversation. I believe the storytelling strategy I, I employed was not fruitful, unfruitful, but I must probe deeper if I can. If that can be sure of it, nothing I interpret. The impressions I get may begin to help me get an idea of the right questions to ask. Knowledge required to speak. Okay, good. So, wish? Discussing this when Grandpa emerges. Another key word. Shell. I'm on two weeks. So is this game like five weeks? Like in, what, the, uh, the note or something? Dude, there's a lot of reading in this game. Holy crap. I met with Adrian in order to discuss her emotional outbursts in the past few weeks. It's our second time meeting. It's a standard practice and have multiple sessions with a troubled student. I assembled a report for the counseling department. I help but think as we sat down in my office that Adrian already seemed to show a remarkable change in self esteem and confidence. And perhaps my my uh perhaps my and Mrs. Richardson's estimation of her emotionally disturbed was of her as emotionally disturbed was erroneous. Uh, the <laughs> <laughs> I can't read, really dude. The paralyzing shyness and withdrawn attitude of Adrian possessed last week was not entirely diminished, but she seemed to hold herself differently this week. However, this only lasted as long as our conversation pertained to initial introductory pleasantries. I began to ask, once again, be asked uh, again asking her about her parents, her feelings regarding reading or regarding her <laughs> new school and her home. New home. She quickly lost new confidence and she gathered up. And uh, withdrew again to herself. Dude, I can like read normally in my head, but when I read out loud, I struggle, bro. <laughs> so once again, I, I partook in some collaborative make believe, but this time I was aided by the fact that I had managed to do some research into Adrian's grandfather, and I had some insight into what he might actually uh, be finding in the basement. Or my, my, uh, I can't read. Okay. The, now this may be overstepping my bounds some as a school counseling co uh, caseworker. It was all a service of making Adrian comfortable and happy in a starting environment. In any case, as I would dig up information regarding the grandfather by inquiring that the university in town let that make a habit of sleuthing, but I had suspicion that the grandfather was a professor there, or at least some sort of researcher due to the fact that the newly constructed laboratory on campus I drive by every day bears his name in memorial. He was some sort of anthropologist, or linguist, or neuroscientist. I didn't have to dig that deep before the scope of his work became dizzying, and I ran up against the limits of my undergraduate education, but back to make-believe. What's your grandpa like? Is he a smart man? Not anymore. I'm teaching him. So he's grown a good deal then. You've been fe eating him well? Uh, yeah, he's he's getting bigger, but he's a lot of room in his cage. So behind bars? Yeah, well, he, well, he might be able to climb out eventually. There's a vent in the ceiling. Man, what? <laughs> but perhaps if he climbs out, I, I can meet him one day. Yeah, yeah, maybe. But he's not ready to leave. He can't take care of himself. I have to feed him, pick up after him. Uh... You store the food in the lunchbox? That's nice of you to share. He can almost talk. Can I speak with him? He doesn't. He, he doesn't have a mouth, sort of. How do you feed him? He has a mouth on the outside, on his shell. The stuff that... his skin? I'm confused. Maybe you can go through a typical day with your grandpa. Okay. And then... she's talking about her grandpa again. Much to change in the basement. Wait, where'd he go? Everything that was here before is gone. Hello? Wakey, Grandpa. It was scary at first, she said. The way he moved. The way a doll skin covered him. I wanted to interject, but somehow it seemed inappropriate, uh, in inappropriate by a careless listening. I look at him, she continued. I was t uh, uh, when I think about him, he grows and moves. It's like he's growing for me. 
So, so he's growing bigger and bigger now, I asked. Yes, he's growing, she said, bigger every day. Uh, uh Wow, wow, okay, um, uh, wow, <laughs> what is that thing? Um, this video is the actual growing part of growing your grandpa. Beneath the doll's burlap skin, the follicles and together, what, what you're talking uh, okay, uh, <laughs> you're in charge of its kind of development and its diet until it's able to sustain itself. Currently, you're serving grandpa. Please get in your back arrow to tourist to his caretaker. This is grandpa, guys? Now what the hell, dude? What did you like raise up, bro? Demon spawn, man. Time to pur purchase <laughs> thing. Okay, I guess I know what I'm here, guys. Let's skip the tutorial. I think I know what I'm doing here. So basically, study corner, kitchen corner, help, save game, help, exit game, help, up, standard stuff. So, explore mission at leisure. After my chain, touch our trash, different weeks, may able to find different things not previously discovered. Good luck. Well, first of all, let us save game. Kitchen corner? Prepare food? Fruit or vegetable? None. Alright, how about what's in the upper fridge? Okay, we got him Salamitis, guys. Anything else in here? Lower fridge? A brown banana. Alright, guys, we got him some food. What do we do next? Actually, wait. Kitchen corner. Can I go, like, anything else over here? No. There's no notes I can touch. Study corner? Look over documents? Oh, this is where all the stuff we have. Educational posters? Oh, what's that? Regarding this bullet. Wait, what? The researcher will seal off the enclosure bars and starting mineral gas leakage and fuming in process and receive a burn barrel and place it near the enclosure. Uh, the growth cycle appearance in the rain the same night to not enter the enclosed area part of the basin. Ideally, it will not be on the grounds as well. Enter the basin inside a mirror mask and pond and a power respirator. Then system to fumigate the enclosed area with 30 minutes and then use the fan system to ventilate the enclosure. Keep the fans running through step 3 to 4. Re enter the enclosure area while wearing your assigned mirror mask and aprons. The organism may or may not be complete in dormancy. If it's not in dormancy, be assured that its capacity to act against you will be greatly diminished. Through sign power drills, quickly remove any enclosed bars needed to access the organism. Move aside for installation. Uh, put the organism in a burn barrel, incinerate the organism thoroughly, and watch, wait for any smoke or properly cleared by the fan system. Turn off fans, research the the nucleus from the ash, and place it in a mirror box. Oh, look, there's a code here. The researcher, the research was sifted through the other natural remains, biohazard bin, and room outside the enclosed area. The code is three, wait, what? Biohazard bin in a closed area in the uh, room outside the enclosed area. The code is three two three two four five. Researchers will fill out termination form and leave it to Doctor Hart. Right, let me screenshot that. I guess. Biohazard bin. Anything else in here? No. Well, cabinet one. What else can we find here, guys? What is this? Cashews. Okay. Another note. Anything else? All cleaned. Uh, an account of an acquisition. It said to pass from one family of step to another is uh, but said to pass from one family of step people to another is but. To another, but pressed on its ultimate origin, somewhere in the south, cold, bold, wait, what? Demon trap. The, the keeper, an elderly man, failing health, was ready to expound, expound, and on and on about the dangers of organism. But when I asked more, more pointed questions about the history, its acquisition, I was getting curt responses that had a way of circling back to vague warnings. Okay, are you talking about the thing that's in here, dude? And the game has a good soundtrack, though. But yeah, guys, I guess for this organism is gonna be our grandpa, bro. Oh, what's this? Grandpa. Oh, is how we teach him to speak? Alright, guys. We got some stuff there for him to learn how to speak, I guess. What else is in here? There's so much, like, paper in here. 
there's nothing in here. I'm just cleaning this for nothing. Hello? Oh, yeah. Oh, these things are trash, too. What are these things? Remove a tape down factory via canvas wind bottom? Whoa. What's this? Cleanup procedures? Uh. To my colleagues, I don't want to seem overly severe in tone, but Dr. Hartsworth is very important and the material you're working with is potentially very dangerous. I'll be handing this copy out so to remind everyone. Try not to single out any particular person out. They have misconceptions about the nature of this project from time to time. Without a way, here are some things to keep in mind. The active growth must be thoroughly terminated via the correct procedures at the very least four weeks after dormancy is interrupted. Does it matter what you've done or haven't done regarding the tests or procedures and how much anthropomorphic vacuum? Is undisrupted. We are not ready to go beyond four weeks at this present, or at this point. The step-by-step -step guide to determination has been posted by the enclosed wall. Please, please do not place this indication posters, uh, or is posting. Do not disrupt the anthropic vacuum without Dr. Hartsburg's prior consultation and approval. In case of emergency or the vacuum is disrupted, put on your equipment and begin lockdown procedure. Make this extensive note of when and how the breach occurred. If you have find the habitat empty. Page Dr. Hart immediately, but do not attempt to speak with anyone else. Thing can get very hard, can get very, uh, very smart. I'm sure you've all been aware of the stories you heard on the acquisition trip. The greatest caution should be used when dealing with a potential aggressive mimic Christ scenario. Please see me if you have any more questions. Now what? Exoskeletons? It's not quite a shell, but you may find a sample will often try to seize on something somewhat flexible. It can grow into, along with any deserious yield it may generate, or else it will move from one shell to the next as it outgrows them. The small amount of time I've spent in preparation knows that it tends towards even forms. However, we should keep a tight lid and seal in order to be cautious before we begin an experiment with exposing long-term anthropoid stimuli. Man, this is some, like... What high IQ stuff right here? <laughs> Metal imaging device? What is this thing? How does this thing work? I don't have anything on me. Cause do not have like a glue? What does this thing do? Yeah, what is that thing? I don't know. Save game again, I guess. Okay, guys. What do we do now? Bulbous growth? Possibly in fact, it's like my membrane that its skin seems to contain something. With a blade? So I need to get a blade to open that thing up. Whatever's inside of there. Another thing? Well, what's that metal imaging thing do anyway? I've got multiple notes here. Or, we got a battery. We might eat it. Oh, hello, full cap card. Something back here, that's, that's a dark area. Salmon. Cabinet. Okay. Oh, we got something in here. Blueberries? Top drawer. Gosh. I should like just like this trash in here, dude. What the hell is that? I should like a doll in here, dude. Or is that like a mask? I have no idea. Okay, we got a note here. Uh you can examine this detail later at the starting quarter. Oh. Before we begin began we, he had a cell cover faces completely. An earthenware pot ineligible was, and on the inside, we still brief glances at it. Uh, we could see if the interior inlaid with ears, gave it small pieces of dough, spoiled food chicken, and it kept it con giving it content. The keeper gestured towards the small bag where the food was composed and told us to be very careful not to feed any meat. I asked if the rotting food was enough to sustain it, and how might I get nutrients in any of this? The keeper regarded me seriously and said it did not matter what it was fed. The act of feeding it itself was what mattered. The act of feeding it flush was another act, however. He then gave me 
a series of grave warnings regarding not keeping any ammo dried foods near where I might be keeping it. So don't feed it like, what, we're not supposed to feed this thing? It was this, I don't need a key. Where's this like biohazard bin? So I guess something about the pain looks strange. Oh, what's this? Radio cart traffic images? Oh, is that for the one thing? So, where's this biohazard bin? I guess we're not supposed to feed it meat because I don't know what's gonna happen if we do it. <laughs> what is this? Fiberglass? They're saying that you might eat it too. Okay, it's all done here. It's all just here. Another trash pile. Waste is particularly strong. That means there's, there's food in here. What's this? Another one of these things? Magic symbol? Okay, that's all we found in here was just like something to use for a magic symbol. Okay, we can't go back there anymore. I guess we head back into the door here and deal with this grandpa figure, guys. Alright, so medical imaging device. You set the radiographic images you found into the machine's display. Whoa. Propagation. Day 19 after dormancy. Anthermo vacuum broken. Yes, term at 21 days. Intriguing results regarding the mimic hypothesis as we entered the seal chamber adjacent to whiskers, which had been freed from an anthropomorphic vacuum, constructed quite economically from plastic and broken mirrors. The first propagation was original earthenware vacuum was shattered during the move in. Between, two, between the two was a semi opaque glass panel that allowed observation both ways. The participant asked to think of someone in, proper, in, in the proper conscious, fictional or no, and Cogitate their Im on their image, personality, face, if possible, the voice, if possible, etc. Our present would chose was Jesus and Nazareth. And with weekly repeated exposures to the participants, Virgin's propagation began forming what resembled an anthropoid Nazarene in the fold of his spines. Previous human oriented tests have always brought bore out a result that whiskers would form an anthropoid team member, be it me or Dr. Hart or Gerald, and we assumed that it was merely mimicking one of the one of us. That's why we contended that the the this early like it to the these goddamn words, bro. Uh, <laughs> or the anthropoid reproduction whiskers creates when in contact with human beings. It's always based been um, based on conception and relation to a person through someone else. Within this framework the serious yield is not actually a replica of a person, or if it is, it's only a replica of fiction of a person generated in the mind of another. What is this? Number two, day zero, after dormancy, vacuum broken, yes, term at six days. Taking a call at whiskers, as though, of course, some have interpreted as hair or needles or quills. Whiskers is more accurate, as the needles are really more like follicles or spines. The nerve nets disappeared throughout the morphology of these spines resemble that of a genus hydra, but if Malin sheaths that are functionally the same as vertebrae, as you can see in the x-ray. Each spine is laden with dense optical arrangements similar to compound eyes. The hydra connection is assumed to be worth investigating with regard to the organism's capacity for regeneration and anisotal deathlessness. It is certain that a robust enough creature to inspire marvel that is not in a tinge with fear. 14 days, vacuum broken, what is this thing? I don't know. Explosion of mammalian forms part of a series of zoomorphic influences led to a further understanding. Oh my god, dude, this is like big ass words. Uh, I like to simulate a previous statement because examining the tissue of each propagation leads me to believe that the music capacity or accelerated growth of vastly different forms comes from cell level maturability. Holy cow, dude. Uh, this is to say, it was to remove dormancy, rabbit's morphology. It is not seeing from the rabbit's eyes nor sm sm smelling from the rabbit's nose, but uh, pretending that it does and doing a very good job of it. What is that? 
Scientical force. Strange thing about it was that, that the subject of the image was found nowhere near the enclosure. Almost like a piece of whiskers fell off and scurried off into the corner. I felt like I learned lunch since then, but I remember speaking about morphology being weird and not really even resembling any extensomorphic structure besides maybe a cuttlefish. I happened to open the thing up. Instead, we're all like dead amoeba like things, but it all has sort of looked like they had faces. Faces that could. that were just barely there. After I took a radiograph, I gathered up and went to go through it in the, bio ha uh, the biohazard bin. As so I walked by the bars and closed, I could hear whiskers suddenly going wild, flopping around and grunting excitedly. Could have smelled a good cuttlefish thing? Would it eat it its own production? I guess it's technically flesh. This is beyond the scope of the project. It could be. That without the stimulus of an active brain or specifically healthy and active brain capable of face recognition, the theory of the mind, Whiskers begins to pull whatever it can from the limited data available to it. Again, it's not focused at that time, but I left a note for Dr. Hart just in case you want to take a look. Dude, where's this been at though? Now we're back at the beginning thing. Interesting. Yeah, where's this biohazard been at? That's what I'm trying to like figure out here, but it's like I don't know. Alright, so um prepare food I guess. Banana. What we got guys? Battery, fiberglass. Alright, let's just do that. Alright, let's feed it guys. <laughs> Observe. Movements uh restoration to mood. Sluggish and bored. Yeah, feeling it may be intent once it's fed. Here yeah, guys, let's I mean, when I'm hungry, it's like I don't want to learn anything, so let's see here, let's just... Tutorial? No, I don't think I need to learn. Tutorial here to feed this thing. It shouldn't be that complicated to feed this thing, right? I mean, open this thing up. Uh, concealed battery. Detect? Okay. Alright. Causing some indigestion? Oh, I burf barfed it up. Fire in the cage, she barfed it up, guys. Here, do you want this? Alright, he ate it. Sufficient. Cashews? Indifferent, except it's a meal, though. Still hungry, man? I want some lettuce. Too full. Alright, he's done. Okay, and then I don't know, it's just. Try to teach it some words. Or we'll start off with the easy one, guys. Hello. Nah, I think I know. What I'm yes. All right. I think I know, it, know what I'm doing here. Wait, what is this? There's like an area here. Wait, what? There's an area here. Oh, it keeps moving. Maybe I'm supposed to like click here. Oh yeah, you're supposed to hold down right must win if you want to end early. Oh wait, no, it's if you want to end it. So I guess you just do this. You hold down left mouse button in here. You mean? Yeah, it is going up. Is this how you teach it to speak? Oh dang. Dang, you spoke, guys. Yeah, you spoke. Man, what the hell? Vocab? Karen's difficulty as wizard's subjectivity is so much determined by diverse dynamic array of influences. It attempts to mimic it, the thoughts and desires it passively intercepts, and these limitations go on to structure the basis of its identity. Former identity. Uh, wait, what? Let's imagine how hard it is to converse with someone who is not yet oriented with a particular way towards how they are because they might have 20 different honest answers to those questions or all of them mix them all together. This is as we started with the basic conversations. They find each other. Fortunate current growth, number 19, I believe, developed the most accurate human mouse simulation. Hello is a bit of a challenge. Uh huh. Let's do grandpa. So basically, I don't know, then like having this thing grow and grow and grow. Until he finally got to number 19. To where he could finally like speak or something. Oh, oops. What the hell, dude? <laughs> Alright, we did it, guys. Pronunciation, serial trouble, articulation, voice, raspy. 
underdeveloped larynx. Man, I was talking about some big words here, dude. When it comes to this, brother, father, sister, court information, Roskers was given to roll his sister and he has brother as a father. Beyond responding to certain prompts with unusual specificity, general pattern and timber speech that continue with unusual consistency. Uh, as soon as the simulation ended, we left the enclosed area only enough to know that Whiskers almost certainly was drawing from ex encoded memories of its late sister, laughing out to exactly what regions and the centers of neural activity are centered by the site type field, or takes incision nor the energy. Dude, this is like. <laughs> I do not have it to site currently. All right, less precise portable equipment. Our knowledge experience early in line with folk knowledge and folk explanations regarding the being's access to desires, and we can. And to infer it has access to certain portions of the limbic system and the central temporal cortex. Hmm. He is ready to cooperate. All right. Let's communicate, guys. Uh. Wow. Well, well, not fully. For uh, the inner grandpa is still not fully foreign. It, it might be fruitful to speak with it if it may respond. Man, what the hell? You guys see this? What is this thing, dude? Wish? Now, that's where the power has been. What's, dude, what the hell is this thing, bro? You guys see this? A great deal of effort, Grandpa produces its fragmented thoughts to his ill formed lips. He also produced more than a wet, frustrated sputtering noise. Look at this thing, dude. Skin. My body. Ah, uh, human skin around me. Wait, he, get, he gives me your answer for this, but not the battle hazard bin? If more. There are more to fit. I guess maybe we have to, like, wait longer until we can get, like, an answer out of him. Mother, ah, uh, will, father. New lives out of the air. Dark spiny filaments that make up majority of Grandpa's body begin to oscillate rapidly. They're behind your eyes. I can taste it. Now what? <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> oh yeah, the stomach contents. Oh, I dropped a key. So wet. Where's that key again? I think it was like... Somewhere, dude. I don't know. I can't remember where was it. It was like in a cabinet, right? This thing? The bottom drawer? Okay. A woman... Your mother is a young woman. Oh. So wait, got this, boom, then we have a photo of the mother. Will he accept this though? Does he want this? Teach grandpa, observe, offer mother doll. He's not interested. Oh, he's sitting in a chair though, you guys see that? Man, what the hell? Alright. <laughs> That's to save it, I guess. I don't know what else to do. Okay, so that's all I fed it, and this is all the stuff I acquired. Dude, I got a lot. Holy crap. Your topic, language. Third week. So I have like, what, two weeks maybe? It did say like, it mentioned five weeks. Mrs. Richard approached me the other day to remark on Adrian's development. She noted how much more at ease she appeared when called upon in class. But once she asked, or when asked to participate in group exercises. I told her I had seen this change happening as well, and that as much as I would like to take credit for it, I can only guess dimly that what might be reshaping her attitude. Posted it as perhaps Adrian's family moving into their grandfather's property caused a change. Apparently it's out in the country, in a wooded area full of wide open space and far from the hustle and bustle and noise of the city. The grandfather, Dr. J. Boyd Hart, had jointly purchased land with the university he was employed at, began constructing what he was intending to be a satellite campus for the Bergening psychology, Psychological Anthropology program he had a hand in establishing. The only one building it after being constructed after Dr. Hart died in a car accident while driving home from a property one day. Yearly, at almost the exact same time, a grad student who was assisting Dr. Hart in some sort of project at the property vanished without a trace. Was that the one thing? Where he said the one guy disappeared? The property sat in disuse for years as was tied up in legal battles between Dr. Hart's next of kin, the university, and the vanished grad student's family and the other students Dr. Hart was working with. Eventually, the case stood out of court. Only recently did a property fall to position Adrian's mother. I would say I was not going to relate as well as Chai's story to Adrian, who, all I know, believes his grandpa is still living in the basement of his home. 
Besides, I thought she might already know all of this. Perhaps celebrating the story, she was constructing her own way of escaping the morbid details of her life. Perhaps lives. Cut short by a cruel force of fate, and a cynical adults who squabbled in the aftermath. I turned perhaps the storytelling she was and continues to engage in should not be encouraged by me, at least not in the way I went about it before I made active inquiries into her strange fancy of semi sentient ball skin. When I saw Adrian, I had to bring up her grandpa or ask questions about his growth. Adrian could not stop talking about it. Uh, however, I had no choice but to weather her bizarre and enthusiastic effusions about her new best friend. Adrian, maybe we could talk about something else. I'm not sure I'm uh, following you exactly. It's gotten so big, so many whiskers that come out and I can see them move around when I think about him. I'm not sure what you mean. I'm so happy about Grandpa's back. He's so much cooler than Mom and Dad. So again, for what's worth, I put down the story she told me as best I could. Okay, now we're back here again. So I guess we're just... Oh. Who's... Okay, we got a kiwi. Uh, who's dumping trash in here, bro? You guys see this? Someone... Who, yeah, who keeps, like, dumping all this trash here, bro? I cleaned it up last week. Someone's, like, dumping all this, like, paper and crap... ...in here. It's like, what? <laughs> yeah, who keeps doing this? Alright, there we go. There's nothing in there, right? That, that I missed? No, there's nothing in there, okay. I don't have a blade for the growth or whatever. Trash. The vent? Still can't do anything with the vent. Is someone stuffing crap in the canvas too? Oh, <laughs> Someone is, bro. What the hell? Dude, I cleaned this up. Dude, this. Is her mother or something dumping crap in here? Jesus Christ. I gotta go, like. Digging throughout all the canvas here, bro. Like every single one, man. What the hell? I, had to, I still have this key, though. Can I use it, though? Did I use that key for one thing? I don't know. Maybe it's because. Actually, I don't know what you're talking about. I think, I think maybe it just permanently stays there or something, right? I don't know. Alright, whatever. Okay, we got, like, what? Potato? Other than that, I'm just, like, picking up trash. We got a note. Life. Oh, we got the life card. Okay. Found another note. Indecision. Okay. That was like over here. So now I guess we head into the one room. I don't know. I haven't found like a blade yet. Yeah, okay. So... Study corner? You know, <laughs> more crap to pick up, dude. Who gets... Dude, someone's stuffing paper in here, bro. What? Alright, in the fridge we got like, what, a pear? Still no blade though. A strawberry? Repair food? I guess we're gonna like... Put some fiberglass in the potato. Yeah, alright. So now... Save a game of course. Let's go to Grandpa, let's see how he is. Oh wow, okay. <laughs> what the hell? You say I'm Grandpa, move his restoration. His, his gums are bleeding slightly and his skin seems to be overly dry. You may need to pack with vitamin C. A cute foot would be an excellent remedy. Okay. Alright, let's see here. Teach him some words, guys. Oh my god. Alright, yeah, stay there. Why is that going like freaking out? <laughs> you guys see that? I'm holding a still, but it's freaking out. That's a big word, too. Alright. There we go. Okay. Okay, listen. Oh, it's got a new thing here. Uh, we introduced latest growth of whiskers to more subtle social cues and testing its ability to judge mental states of participants in conversation. The somatic content that flows to whiskers via its side field is still becoming muddled and slipped without distinction in conversation. Although our intention of instilling it as a solid theory of mind will perhaps make it begin to understand that we do not know what it wants or what we are or without control sending to it. Uh... One would think that a theory of mind seems to develop a part of its 
maturation process in order to hunt the sapient beings it must be able to seize them in order to see it must be able to make certain metacognitive judgments for example if the deception appears to be working or one ought to be deceived we may never see it develop a theory of mind anytime soon as dr Hart has allowed the cycle of whiskers growth and to live into the beginning's maturity okay Let's try this one. This one's a lot easier than indecision. Shouldn't take as long either. It's pretty quick. Dang, you say it, guys. At week 3 of growth, number 24 whiskers appeared to recall some information of a previous growth cycle. We cannot be sure this is really the, the case. For all we know, we interpret as circuit collecting. Information was really drawing from some ad content from one of our recollections and redeploying it without rationality or contextualization. For the sake of safety and the sake of scientific inquiry, we're attempting to draw out whiskers whether it somehow retains knowledge from previous cycles in the morphologic nucleus. I think it was possible. It was possible. They didn't think it was possible. The nucleus, though complex and credible, and strategic abilities, was capable of this, and that we, and that the nerve network grew out from it, made the base of Whiskers mine. And so we're now attempting to ask Whiskers as best we can if it has ever died, or might remember if it did. So what you're telling me, it like remembers crap from back in the day, or like its previous life cycles, or something? Oh dang! All right, guys, here we go. Fiberglass potato. <laughs> <laughs> there we go, guys. Empty the stomach into the floor. Pre contents? Wait, there's something new? Let's give it a kiwi here. Okay. Sufficient? Let's give it, I don't know. Brown starberry, hard as a rock. Except in the pear. How about lettuce? Alright. He ate the lettuce. Strawberry. No okay, cash all. So, why did he like belch up? Saw some scissors. Oh, to open the thing. Usable. Do you want the doll now? Not interested. Uh. What the hell, dude? You guys see this thing? All right. Value hazard bin. They kept putting me in a box, sleeping, and then set a light. Then in a box, box in the corner, in the darkness. Most of you couldn't read then. The scribe came and wrote, and everyone said they wrote the strips of bark in with thin reeds. No, it was not that. It was a paper posted somewhere. It had the words to open a box. It was half dead in the box. Part of me that dies was put in there for a long time. Part of me and the other things they threw in. A refuse pile. Papers he discarded. Mm hmm. Grandpa Shell. So, something to grow in. My skin is not a dull skin. My skin is not like your skin either. You can feel your eyes on me on me inside. My shell. I have many eyes to see, but I don't need them as much as I need your eyes with which I can understand as seeing me. There's a cycle. It's a tension. You give me myself, but I'm, I'm still not that. So I have form human shape, and you see me more as a human, and I become that. Dang. It's being real, dude. <laughs> Hunger's not enough. The walls of the cave, the auric can, hunger, transform, desire fulfilled by pain. Your grandpa doesn't have the right words right now. I can only say I love you, okay. Love is not enough though. Desire is not enough. Projected out words, make it true to yourself. If only in symbol, then it will be enough. For me and for you. Huh. Dang, bro. Language. Grandpa is old. My lives were easier before I made myself speak and before you made close to where and rules to obey. Your grandpa remembers I have learned much in many lives and deaths. You being with me, I love talking with you and learning from you and it helps your grandpa so much. So I'll be everything you would like me to be. 
Oh dang, alright. Okay, goodbye. He goes back into his shell. Hmm. There's not much else to do. Oh wait, no, 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 no. We had the one things. Okay, what's in here? It's just talking about this slithering crap that's in here. I don't say much in here, but it's like the slimy stuff, dude. And there's lava in here, too. Man, what the hell? What is this thing? Uh, Grandpa may enjoy the flesh. I'm not sure it's a good idea. It did say he would. That, that, they they want to not say that. <laughs> Little friends. It didn't. Grandpa say something about the uh, one dudes or whatever, like. Or uh, what is it called? Oh, what's it called? Um. It said he went wild, dude. Imagine if we fed it to him, though. I don't think it would be a good idea, no, honestly. <laughs> what if he infects me, man? I don't know. What if he, like, consumes me next, dude? That's true, that's true. Oh, there's another one in here. No notes, just, like, some... I don't know. Organisms? Hmm. So what do we do now, guys? I don't know. I think we've already, like, scraped the hell out of the entire room here of stuff here. Yeah, I don't see, like, I don't know what the goddamn burning bin is at, though. It's not even in here. Hmm. Okay, let's try, like, I guess, maybe, what's it called? The Little Friends. No one wants to grow like seeds off my skin, the words fall off my body. Uh, thoughts falling off me, dreams put there by others. When I was under, gra under the ground, I all made only very few. Shepherds walked through the grave, I saw them lusting for their wives, and my skin made their loving faces. I called them out in the darkness with their blood voices. One by one, I took their shapes and their skin and blood. That was a time ago, before stone buildings. For the orders of angels and our words of symbols. I'm sorry, Grandpa's thinking, but there's a little to left over for others too. I'm still so hungry for flesh. Part of me is I would even eat one of them that fell off of me. I can't help it, they grow off me. They fall on and grow in the dark. Uh oh dang what the hell. Hmm. Maybe it's like Yeah, probably it's like um Probably best at this point not to feed it to him, because I don't know what's gonna happen, dude. <laughs> Alright, guys, week number four. Dang, not as much as before. Okay. Week four, then, like, what, we have week five or something? I still haven't found a flashlight, though, or something, but seen a dark corner. At the time, I spent compiling edu evaluation Adrian is almost up and I can't say what to make of her changes in mood. It is of course the case that children of Adrian's age are nowhere near finished learning and growing. We simply have to be happy that Adrian was able to improve her attitude. However, something in the odd and occasionally grotesque stories she continues to bring up to make me strike me as meaningful. I should weep in Adrian. Grandpa's almost ready. Well, he's almost I'm finished, sort of. Ah. He's almost as big as his shell now. He has a face, he can talk pretty well, he almost has legs. I see. Before I could put down the story, she told me as best as she could. Once again, talked about growing her grandpa. What's this? Soap? Does he get a belch up a flashlight next? I don't know, but let's see what I can find in these trash piles here. Okay, we got a new card. Meaning. Alright, very good, very good. It's in like what? This cabinet here? Nothing else in here? Oh, I didn't search this one. I think I found bread on the floor here. Oh, dang, yeah, I found some bread. Okay, okay. Very cool, very cool. Nothing new with the painting here. Doesn't seem like it. Still searching. Oh, I found like one piece of food. I don't know what else I'm gonna feed him. Maybe if we get lucky, we can find something in the fridge, I guess. I found two things a mushroom and symbol. Ah. 
Alright guys, it's nothing going on here still. Yeah. Alright. Check out the, I don't know, the kitchen first I guess. An apple? Okay. Our fridge. A jackfruit. Okay, we got like some food choices here. Put a bar of soap in there. Alright. And then we have to like scour. I don't know. I guess we have to make. Oh, I mean, hopefully it vomits up like a flashlight or something because there's, there's no flashlight anywhere else in the game. I gotta dig for trash in here, I guess. Alright, let's go to Grandpa, guys. Let me save the game first. <laughs> Alright, what's he like now? Oh, there he is, guys. You see that? He has like a human form. Then you guys see that? You see that grandpa, noting its movements, respiration, and general mood. It seems fatigue, endemic. Some of the spines appear brittle. An iron rich meal like meat. More cooperative, I found him like meat? Dude, what? I don't know if that's a good idea. Here, guys, let's teach him some words here, such as meaning. Gosh, I messed up a little bit there. <laughs> Dang, bro. That's kind of spooky as hell. Refer to to astrication with whiskers, partially or perhaps for the most part for the purpose of determining origin or recollections that precedes death. Dr. Hardband has theorized that the process of death in the structure of whiskers is compressed back into the morphalic nucleus and then, upon reestablishing the nerve netting, it lays through spines so it's simple and reappointed as needed. I don't think that was the case, for I can plainly see the growth cycles which Whiskers is not receiving our pronunciation and vocabulary since that is capacity for general for comprehending its environment is greatly diminished. And in stimulated conversations we carry out, Whiskers struggles uh, greatly or else does not participate. In any case, we press on with our lessons and heed Dr. Hart's caution regarding terminating growth cycle before Whiskers is out growth time passes, or if it appears to become just a little bit too competent in appearing human. Mm hmm. Got one more word here, guys. Symbol. There's nothing written here, or if there was, it was three erased. There pronunciation comments, there's nothing. Major comments. What? Why is it erased? Alright guys, I guess it's time we uh wow look at <laughs> Look at that, what the hell? Alright. Here you want something to eat, bro. Okay, let's give you dang the anthropoids here, man. What the hell? Concealed soap. Okay. Contents are deposited. Well, hopefully it's a flashlight or something. You want some bread? Palatable. I guess we'll give it some like big stuff here, guys. So I'll, like fill them up, not not the small crap, you know, like a brown strawberry. <laughs> you right, want some mushrooms, bro? Accept it as a meal. All right, there we go. I don't want to give it like a goddamn meat here because I don't know what it's gonna do. Too full and just consume mediocre food. All right. All right, Grandpa, where'd you empty? Do you want this thing? Not interested. Oh, a flashlight. Dang, guys, we got a flashlight. Okay, finally. Here, let's communicate. Wait, what? No response. He doesn't want to talk, guys. What does that mean? Some of the spines... Oh, he, he won't talk until we give it meat. I don't know if that's a good idea, man. 
Or I'll back out. Can't trust this bozo, man. He's already too spooky as is, bro. <laughs> Waste bin? Oh, it's just where the code is. Okay. A classic of alchemy. The venture of dealing with the devil or devils? The splendor of God's creations that haven't the world that they're both at least seen unseen? It's just as what I grapple with the lion and the most. Uh, <laughs> what? Well, I can't talk. So it's basically talking about the devil and stuff like that. Oh, another doll? Paper doll. I need to go find the code here. Yeah, hold up now. Okay, three, two, three, two, four, five. Okay, got it off. What's in here? Your father as a young man. Hey, what? This recognition of his face kicks off a cascade of emotion and meaning with deep within your psyche. Father is a young man. How is what's in here? Nothing else. That's it. Dad? Might just look like a hippie, bro. What the hell? There we go. We got mother and father, guys. So is there anything else to do here with Mr. Grandpa here? Not interested. Hmm. Well, done end of week. What happens now? Week number five, guys. What? What could that be? Ah, come in, Adrian. It's good to see you. Aren't you a little early? No matter. I suppose you have some time now. How have you been? How's your grandpa doing? That's why I want to talk to you. Something happened. Oh, what? Nothing ha bad, I hope. No, nothing bad. Uh, just different, I think. Maybe even good. Well, I'll tell you about it. Well, last night, something woke me up. Just noticed it first. <laughs> I came from the walls, but I could hear it from my bedroom. But there was something else. Nothing calling. I could just barely... I was afraid somehow Grandpa hurt himself. I had to go find out. Man, what? I went downstairs to the vent and found... Uh, where I first found Grandpa or what grew with him was open. Do you remember how I told you about the vent sitting behind the bars? I think he climbed up into it. Man, what? He got so big, he could have done it that. Maybe he even got trapped somehow in the vent. I had to go see. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> Grandpa's definitely in the vent somewhere. I can feel him hearing my thoughts. I got the feeling, the sense in the air. I had to go forward. Or what? Uh, the stuff that was in it is kind of slimy. Here's stuff like Grandpa would leave around a lot. He's definitely close. Man, what? Who the hell are you, bro? Something at the end. It wasn't Grandpa. It looked like maybe he had... Uh, it looked like maybe he had made it through. Now what the hell, dude? Do you guys see this? It was on the corner. He had a weird mouth and lungs on the outside. It drew enough, it just enough air to call out. Then it just stopped. Stopped breathing. Something was hanging over me. What? Uh, hello? Then I woke up in bed. In your bed, it just sounds like you were having quite a dreadful dream. Are you? All right, by the way, your fist is twitching like you have about to have a violent sneeze. I'm fine, sister grandpa, you see. It took me a little while to figure it out, but... When I was brushing my teeth, I saw one of grandpa's whiskers poking just out the space under my eye. I started to remember how in the vent he hid inside of me. It was so fast I could barely remember, but then I soon started to feel him sliding in my head. Wait, what? <laughs> by my forehead, just behind my eyes and nose. Didn't hurt at all. Just ticklish. I'm glad I can be with him. Oh, I can feel him now. I think he wants to meet you. Part of him is moving down my arm. Oh. So you were on. Maybe you should be twitch you should really should not be twitching like this. I could walk you to the nurse's office. Come on, let's go. I should meet him. He told you I, I told you so much about him here. Man, what? What are you doing, Adrian? You look like you're starting to get very ill. Please just wait. Stay still, he's gathering, waving on my fingertips. Man, what? What's going on? Why do you look like that? You don't have to be afraid. Look. Okay. Dang, bro. Um, I thought she got infected by him. No, that's not good. <laughs> wow, wow, wow. Yeah, I don't know what to say, guys. Did we just get the bad ending? I think we did. We got the failure for female ending? Oh, dang. Let's talk about Patreon. Alright, whatever. 
Dang, about the bad ending? Wait, I saved before. Yeah, I saved before. What if we feed him meat, though? I don't know. That too, but I only fed him in that one day. Uh, or, or, I would I, I would only feed him on that one day. I don't know. Alright, guys. Let's feed him the meat thing, I guess. See if we did that's anything. Maybe he'll be willing to uh, cooperate here. What's the difference between one and two? I have no idea. He wants this. He's excited. Oh, dang. Here we go, my friend. <laughs> Is that any different? Well received? So I got man appendage to emerge? Wait, what? Then let us after defeating. How oh, she acquired a conversation with Grandpa? For Waskis. You want another one, dog? That. I'm gonna arouse again very soon. Oh, okay. Appreciate it and Loki was towards his favorite corner. Dang, he enjoyed it, guys. He enjoyed the, the meat here. <laughs> You want the mother doll? Not interested? Attempt to communicate? What the hell, dude? You guys see this? Um. Oh, that's not proboscis, it's just a little th tube I help. Uh, I keep to help me feed on my blood. I could say it's my real mouth, but it's not really a mouth. It appeared because he fed me flesh. One of those things little friends you found, I think. You feed my flesh was a symbol, proposition, if, you, well, that you wanted to hold up your end of the bargain but with regards to your wish. Someone's willing to hold up their end of the bargain let me feed on them with my proboscis, and they can go on to the next step of their agreement, providing me symbolic instructions. I hope that can soon up. Oh, you have another question. Do you like blood? Well, my whiskers, I believe. They like blood, and the flesh is strange. They are me, and yet now they are me. I am bound to them. They control me, technically, yes, and they didn't make me. However, they were one, one who really grew me. In some ways, those whiskers, they are me, or part of me, or I'm part of it. That part is much more animal-like. Whatever it might happen, know that I always love you, and because it controls me, I might be able to act how I would like, even if I do love you. Now what? Proboscis. What do you mean by progress? Uh, oh, this one. Approach the sin protuberance. Wait, what? Extends towards you? Man, what the hell are you extending out towards me, bro? <laughs> it appears there appears to be one more thing you must give, only for the sake of propriety. You want something? What is this last thing, though? I don't know. What's one more thing, guys? Why do we give it to him? Is it somewhere in the basement that I don't. Uh, that I forgot? Maybe an anthropoid. Doesn't want any of these. I can't take any of these. I can open it, but I can't give it to him. I don't know. Man, look at that thing just come out, bro. <laughs> Am I supposed to click on this? Can I grab it? Oh, oh, oh. Wait, 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 I could grab it. <laughs> oh, what the hell, dude? I give it my blood. I appreciate your blood offering. It will, it will receive a symbol of a totem. Or it will receive a symbol of a totem from you now, although only one per offering. So, blood. Fed Proboscis tracks back into the fold of fabric, you step away from the bars. Now what? Do I give him my blood, bro? You want the father doll? Oh, he, he wants it now. I have a son quickly reach out the envelope and the doll before drawing back. The doll quickly vanishes within the folds of Grandpa's skin. Constructing and offering your father's image to Grandpa, somebody saved by blood, and instills you a concrete sense of completion. Grandpa gives you a suffering grunt as it senses deep within your mind the ritual transformation of your desire. Other uh, grandpa must receive both a mother and father tone before the full mint or he wishes assured. Oh god, was I supposed to like deal with this from um Yeah what? How about tomorrow though? That's the end of the week. I don't know. Did I mess up here guys? I don't know. <laughs> Wait, is this different? I I told you about the vent and thing, you caught up onto it. Not so big, maybe you could get trapped in the vent. I had to go see. Is this basically the same thing again? Did I mess up? I had to go forward. Well, I can't go back in a save because this game only has like one save, a playthrough, I guess. Is that fake close? Did I get the same ending again? Oh, hello, dog. Nice to see you again. And just stopped. Something hanging over me? Yeah, I got the same ending again. Man! <laughs> Gosh, bro. Did I go my bed? Dang, I don't know. 
How would we have done it like before though? I guess we had to defeat it meat on the third day or something like that. What's well, a bit too late for that now. Huh? <laughs> oh, I was able to give him another one. I gave him the second one. I was able to give him the second one. I like I reloaded my save. Yeah, I reloaded my save. He was he accepted the second one after I reloaded my save. Okay, he went to the corner. Actually, wait, do I saw the other one in there? No, it's, it's gone. Okay, okay, okay. So go to grandpa, examine the proboscis. Man, what the hell, brother? What the hell, brother? <laughs> ah! Alright, now we can do the other ending, I think. Right? Hopefully. <laughs> Dang, bro. Alright. Grandpa, I offer you the mother doll. There we go, guys. Okay, basically... Not your required conversation topic. Completed contract? Oh! Maybe we can talk to him about the completed contract, guys. So I completed the contract? So we completed what we wish, wished for in the beginning of the game? Wish, Grandpa Shell, Biohazard, Little Friends, Probuscus. Completed contract. Thank you so much for completed contract. I'll definitely help you out with your parents. Just give me a little time, I'll be ready to act. I think you'll be very happy. Your grandpa is very happy too. You did it all by yourself. Y you know, I couldn't have helped if you tried. Really, if. Oh, I got a verb. Man. I really. Uh, I would really have not have to like. Well, I did not want to. Man, I did not want you to complete the contract. I would have hated that. But you don't understand why I. Uh, you understand why I. <laughs> But you don't understand why I would have had to. Maybe you don't. So much of your lives are made up, and yet what comes to pass always wants a fiction. You doubt yourself and plans before they even begun. And as you believe uh, what is in front of you as the essence of things, what was not something not. Oh my god, I can't do what the hell you're talking about. Too much doubt can suffocate even the surest thing. Only with patience and growth and nurturing does something become what it will be. As soon as you shall see. Dang. Goodbye, Grandpa. Yeah, after I reloaded the safe, I was able to feed him another one, so I guess that works, I guess. <laughs> 5 out of 3, you, see, you guys see that? 5 out of 3 acceptable foods. Alright, hopefully we get the other ending here. Uh -huh. Alright, week 5. Will Grandpa accept this, guys? Maybe John would file time to see if I could reach some sort of resolution regarding her emotional trouble. Uh, in these past few weeks, according to reports of her teachers and peers, she has shown a remarkable transformation of conduct. I'd also like to add my voice to this consensus. It seems that if in our time together, much has changed for the better. I'm not suggesting our means for the sole source of or see a change. I think something has happened in her home life that oriented Adrian completely. It suggests as much, at least usually esoteric way, when we last spoke. Then tells me something may have changed with Grandpa. Yes, well, something did change. I will write down her words for him here. I went downstairs like I always did, but something felt different. My parents weren't arguing, and I felt something had changed with Grandpa, too. There was a weird noise, but I wasn't afraid. Now what? Okay, we can't go in there this time. Hello? What the hell? What is going on? Uh, what is he doing? You guys see this? Wait, what? Dang, he made our parents anew? I think Grandpa had to leave, but before he left, he made my parents nice. He reached, he reached inside and changed them. That was my wish. Maybe even what, what, what I was growing wasn't really my Grandpa. Grandpa left what was I what I was growing behind. But he's gone now. He moved quickly out to I don't know where, but I will always love him. It was Adrian soon after, letting her know it was a pleasure to getting to know her. Despite my apprehensiveness about the speed of the turnaround she made, I cannot see any reason uh, why Adrian should be considered for any further evaluation. As counselor of Adrian, I let it be known that I believe that she is sound mental and emotional health. I'm pleased with these findings turn out this way. And if I may take a brief addendum, 
uh, by happenstance, Mrs. Richardson bumped into me, bumped into Hart family the other day while running an errand. So my parents are a little odd, but very pleasant, and quite clearly they adored her child. And that she had never seen Adrian happier. happier. Oh, we did, guys. <laughs> Now wait, well, I mean, that book or whatever we're talking about the devil and stuff like that was that thing a demon? I guess that thing was a demon or something, dude. But at least it was kind enough to leave us with, um, yeah, new parents, I guess. But um, other than that, guys, that's pretty much the game, I guess. Pretty good game, you know, <laughs> of growing our grandpa here. But other than that, that's basically the game, guys. See you guys in the next one. Subscribe for more, and uh, yeah, start free to go. All right, see ya. <laughs>